Okay, control on double O agent. Um, this one's got a bit of a reputation. It is pretty tough. So we've got to protect Natalia, disable the satellite, and destroy the mainframes. Um, first bit we have to do alone. So wait till the door's fully open and run out straight to the right. You find a guy here, and then two more will come around the corner. Made me reload when it wasn't even time. Right, so we're going to try and sneak a little bit out here. Get rid of that one. There's another just around here. So again, we're going to see a millimetre of it, and then we're going to... bit heavy-handed there. And we're going to get that. Man, do I hate that aiming. There's another one up here. Shoot it however it's easier. One guy, two guys, and there's a third on the left who may or may not come round to meet you. As soon as we've done that, straight over to Natalia. If she doesn't come out, it means you haven't killed them all. Um, let's get the ammo while waiting for it to run over to the thingy. So she's going to go over to the terminal. Are you, if you watch her, it goes quicker. So there you go. It's basically the same strategy as well for Secret Agent this game, this mission, so it'll work for both things. Bit of dialogue. Come on, Natalia, with your massive square head. Let's open this up. There we go. So then this door opens, and we're going to use some long-range sniping down the bottom end. It's very hard to see because the in-game resolution is actually quite low. Um, but rest assured, there's two guys down there. We see it better on this. Now, we want to try and sneak these guys as much as we can. If you hear that sound, if you can hear that, grenades are coming. They throw grenades a lot. Most of the time they kill themselves. So you've got two on the left, two on the right. Smoke makes it harder to see them, but there's a guy there. I've got him. Might not be able to see what I'm shooting at. I'm literally, whoa, just doing it on there. Uh, on memory there, but they're in those rough positions. Smoke really persistent. There you go, let's pull another grenade. Right, okay, we'll go down here, get their guns. You need all the ammo you can get. Some remote mines, probably get a grenade off that guy as well. I think we've got four dudes to shoot around here. One, two. Whoa, we don't want to risk that. There we go. If you take any hits on that opening part, it can be worth restarting it. I certainly would. Right, open this door, looking this way. Shoot the guy there, got another four guards to get. Now, you don't need to rush it, it was reasonably quick, but you can make that easier on yourself. Right, plant the mines here. Um, you want to try not to blow up the, the glass. Um, ignore Boris, he's an idiot. We do want to blow these up though. I have to wait for Boris now. You wanted to blow him up before Boris went running past. It kills the two guards that are up above. Now this glass here, you can leave this unbroken. I meant, you probably could see I meant to shoot it there. There's something you can do with the glass broken, so I'll use it as an opportunity to show you that. But you want to keep them closed because it, it reduces the angles you can get a shot from. Open this door from the side guy to shoot. There'll be another guy as well. Also got a turret up there. And then we have another turret just next to it. And on the right and the left we've got turrets and to get them you want to sort of edge out just so you can see this one first and then rotate without... I, I knocked the stick there. That's literally what I was saying not to do. Right, then we got that one. Okay, so we got another mine to plant on that. There's another one in here, but we can't get to that yet. I'm sure you could probably... I don't know if this will work. I might just try it for a laugh. It's about there on the other side of the wall, so you could always try that to see if it blows up. It's not important anyway. It's easy to get that one. Um, chuck that mine over there. I'd be pretty pleased if that does work, but I doubt it. Right, okay. So we'll go down here to meet Natalia. 
If you kill Boris or you knock Boris out, you will fail that. So just be aware of it. Okay, so we're going to get a bunch of guards coming in through here. I can see better with this um, version of the graphics on, so I might switch them up. Um, as soon as she starts, you can try and run straight to that door to get some body armour. Um, as soon as the alarm goes off, should I say. But you risk somebody coming and shooting her, so it's kind of up to you. That might have scuppered me, but it's down here. I'm going to grab this. So this is super risky. Usually ends up with Natalia dead, if I'm honest. You have to be very quick. And we go back to the main area. Uh, where is he going? Okay. Oh, he's, he was a Natalia killer. Right. So on this section... Um, if you have all the glass cleared, they have to come up the stairs and down these stairs. So you'll watch them walk all the way up and then all the way down. If you stand where I am, they will have to go to the bottom of the stairs and then they assume a position or they continue to run. Watch these guys when you hear the glass breaks. Um, when you hear the glass break, it means those ones usually shoot directly for Natalia. You can see why I wanted the glass in that position now. Um, whoa! And then we've just got to keep killing them as they get there. If you get a little bit behind picking up ammo, they'll get in quicker than you think. So just be wary of it. So I like to position myself a bit further back. You can get rid of that computer as well to make your life a bit easier. Okay, so we've got another guy coming down. If you shoot me at the top of the stairs, great. You don't have any ammo to get though. So you, you can use that as a, as a time, uh, buy yourself some time saw that guy there was considering going and breaking the glass but instead ran around one of the other ways I do a lot of talking on this bit um, there's a lot of stuff happens at the same time you can probably understand right that's a bit of a problem killing so many up there probably should have waited for him to come down but being a bit of an idiot okay where are you getting where are you mate that door at the bottom, if you do break that glass, is a massive problem because that guy that comes through is going to give you headache after headache after headache. Um, that one side is actually pretty good because you get to get the armor, as I said, but I wouldn't normally bother doing that. You see, I haven't really been shot on this. It's just the way it goes. Natalia is your big problem. Right, so Natalia is going to jog on now um, and she's safe, bizarrely. Let me up the ladder. Bizarrely, she's now safe. They no longer have any interest in her. So the next thing that we need to do is to laugh at that guy because he's walked all the way around there for nothing. Chuck grenades in, chuck mines in. We'll wait and see if that's actually worked. There we go. So that's our objective completed. So the next one we need to do is we need to get Oleg. And if you keep moving at a reasonable clip here, you'll find that you don't get people up behind you. There's a guy over on that left hand side too. I'm just going to rush this. Just So we go up to him there. This is the easiest route by the way. I don't know why I don't like walking through that main area. I always seem to get my head kicked in. <laughs> Do you expect me to wait Mr. Bond? This takes us back through the other side of it and we can just quickly run and get in the lift like that. Um, so that's control. You, <laughs> If you plan it and you and it goes well and you execute it, there's very little that can go wrong um, other than someone breaking the glass and sneaking Natalia. She took a few hits on mine. Um, that was totally on me. I had a bit of a, a rushed moment at the start. Um, did it a lot faster the first time as well. I don't, don't know what I did differently, um, but that would get you the that get you the cheat on secret agent too. Okay, right. So we've got water caverns up next. Um, caverns isn't too bad. It just can sometimes be easy to miss a few things. So I'll we'll start off here. I'm just trying to do this quickly. Um, 
So I'm just going to gun these down. It does actually save a lot of time, this, because it pulls some guards in from elsewhere. A bit lucky not to have got hit there. I've been a bit silly. Um, the guys with the blue hats are able to not get staggered, basically. So just be aware of that. These bits you can do just by the, the classic technique, nipping around the door, you know, try not to get snapped at. Blue hat again. And we should get a couple of guys in here that um, come from the ground. Sometimes people seem to get behind you, like you miss them. And I swear I don't know where they come from. Um, bad, bad, bad aiming. Uh, so do this guy. As soon as the scientists are away from here, shoot them. You don't want to kill any scientists if you can help it. Because um, cause if you do, you can't kill the, the guy later. Sometimes the ones in the last section get stuck. Right, get out of the way. I don't know if you can push him out of the way. I like to think you can. Right, first objective completed. You can use timed mines, but it's not worth it because you're going to blow up a scientist. Yeah, this guy with the blue hat sometimes comes from behind. I can't figure out where he comes from, but he's dead now. This guy's always there. He sometimes rushes you. And then on our way up, we'll find people. Uh, two people walking on the ramps and one guy right at the top. So, we're just going to walk our way up the caverns, listen to the badass soundtrack, the super cool like 90s clanging noises in the background, amazing. Proper memories of classic Goldeneye multiplayer there. Oh, they're both in the same spot. Don't often get that. It makes it slightly harder, but it's like literally not even a problem. We want all the ammo we can get. This one, um, we crouch down. We get a timed mine out. Wait for this to open first if you can. And you get a few kills very easy with that. You can also put it in the closing door. I don't even think I got any kills doing that. And I got shot for it. All right, trying to be a bit clever there. Never mind. Um, usually you get a couple of kills. If you put them in the doorway as they go through, they'll get blown up as well. Didn't happen. It's life in it. Definitely no one there. Hello, you coming through? Um, you can pick up a lot of ammo out of these just to make you aware. Um, you might want a lot of pistol ammo. It's very useful, but there's another spot where you can get a lot from too. I'm going to use the ZMG just to speed things up and make people come to me. We've got a guy down here. Sometimes get his mate following up. Sometimes get his mate. We're all good. Right, um, so we want to put a timed mine here just to get us some free ammo. I'm going to use a timed mine on this because I've really run out of ammo. I love how many models they made for things in this game, I really do. Alright, you get loads of ammo there. We're big in the back time. Right, you can see the floor when you walk through here, so it usually makes it easier to... There we go. I'm going to blow this up. If you use the ZMG, they will hear. This guy here, the blue hat, has a code we want. There you are, hello. Right, so we're going to blow these up. If you use these guns, you'll pull the dudes down from up top and it'll just save you time because when they come over the edge, they're hard to see and um, they'll get a shot on you for sure. I've taken quite a lot of hits actually. You can do this pretty much this whole level without taking a single hit quite easily. Right, objective B is done and you will have heard the key card that I picked up. It's essential that we get that. You can exit through the top, but then you have to deal with a like a turret. So like, why would you? Uh, I've got more ammo for this, so I'm just going to switch this one for now. It's nice, it's usually just a burst to kill these. Right, and then on this bit, you want to rush up and shoot these guys if possible, because um, I'll show you where to go if you don't manage it. Right, so if you don't manage to shoot those guys, you rush up. Um, just run back here and then they'll shoot through this ceiling bit 
um, as this. Someone just shot at me, didn't they? Saves a bit of time. Right, as a key card gets dropped around here, um, so you've got a key card to get from there. And that blue hat as well drops a key card, if I remember rightly. Um, but we should have two key cards at this point in time. Now this bit we have to be very delicate with. We don't want to hit barrels or anything explosive. And as we know, in GoldenEye, literally everything explodes. There's still one on the left. Thanks, mate. Really needed that. Yeah, great. Whoa. So that was the guy that's sometimes over there. This fella here might sometimes throw grenades at you, as he did then. There's our third key. We want to try and lure this guy out. If not, we want to shoot him with a low penetration weapon. Very carefully. If you shoot him with the AR-33, it will hit this behind, potentially, and blow it up. So first thing, oh, speaking a lot here. So first thing, we get the radio. Then we want to get rid of this guy. He sometimes can get out, he sometimes can't. If you haven't killed a scientist yet, you've got a free pass. I'm going to blow that up. Go through here where we'll find two dudes. I'm just going to check my objectives because sometimes I can miss ones. So double check there that you've not missed a console. If you have, go back to each of the locations when it's all clear and go and take them out. If you're going for the cheat, it's not going to be great. There we go. So shoot our two dudes. Two dudes, dudes, man. Um, and then there were two turrets through here, one straight ahead and one in the distance. If you crouch down, you get a bit of time. In fact, I never normally get shot by that. Well, I'm on very low health, but this bit you can usually just run without taking any hits whatsoever. He said, just as a guy shot at him from behind, like they never do and nearly killed me. Easy. Right, in the lift. Done. Um... As I say, if you're not rushing it, you can do that with like full health, basically. Um, you'd never normally take a hit on that bit at the end. Um, but I'm pushing it a little bit there just to kind of show you the target. That's the fastest I've done it. It says enough. Um, target's 9.33, so pretty easy. Pretty easy one. Right, here's the beast. Uh, cradle, mega, mega annoying. Um, let's get going. So on the original version, you couldn't see anything because it's pea soup. Um, on the remasters, I'm assuming they'll push the draw distance back like this. Um, you want to skip the videos because otherwise he gets a massive head start. And we also go behind. We go behind to get us a body armor. Yeah. Try and use the pistol as much as you can, but we got a lot of blue hats, which makes it very hard. So we're just going to switch up. Tend to get double guns for each dude anyway. Dual wielding was not a word at that point in time. Right, so he starts off the banter. There's a turret in here we want to get rid of immediately. I'm going to pop straight through. Watch out. For oh, turret two. Turret two. Sorry. Right, blow that up. And as you come through here, you will get immediate shot. So if you duck straight past the shot won't um, collide with you. Get him to move and then you're going to go up to the other side. Kill a few guys on the way, why not? A bit of wanton violence, there's nothing is it. There is another health. There we go. As long as we catch him, he'll go back down. Now there is another... Oh, I thought there was another body armor there. Maybe, I'm... Maybe it's only on the easy mode. Here comes the grenade! Right, so he's going to run over to the other side again. Oh, really? Don't shoot me. Disrespect's unreal. And we're going to go straight back over to the other end. I see you. I see you clipping through the wall. And quickly strafe past. Where is he? Hey! The trillion. He ran down, didn't he? Normally he just keeps the loop going. We don't want to let him up the top, basically. Throwing the cycle a little bit there. We'll find out. We'll get shot as we go, Pat. Oh, 
Right, there we go, he's moved again. We're going to struggle for ammo now. Very, very annoying. Something gone badly wrong with this. Oh, right, double the ammo. We're back in the big time. Her Majesty's loyal terrier, you sickened me. All right, so we just complete complete this leap, and we go through a whole range of this dialogue, and we get shot plenty of times while we do it. It's part of the fun. Oh, I did not want to shoot him down there, did I? Because I need his bullets. Thanks for your ammo. Come on, is that the best you can do? Stop trying to shoot me and shoot me! You never give up, do you? It's like, it's, a, it's an endearing factor not giving up. Scene being. Sometimes getting to grenade himself a bunch of times is pretty funny. Ah, oh, grow up. AI is blowing himself up a little bit. Idiot. Struggle with ammo, depending on who we run into now. Never win. Finish the job, James, if you can. Right, that was our cue to go and light this guy up on the bottom floor. So you just repeat that. It's super variable. Oh, don't tell me that's gone wrong. <laughs> I was always the best, James. No, I was the best. And then we have to just basically annihilate him is the easiest way to put it. And I'll show you the old graphics. Look at that. And that is it. Mr. James Bond has completed the game on Double O Agent, or has he? Uh, to hit that up in another video, the um, last two maps, one of them super easy, um, one of them super not that easy. And that is it. I'm not going to advance to the next screen because then I'll have to watch the little smoochy time. It's a bit variable in when you get him. Sometimes he goes into weird loops. Just watch out for grenades when he runs away. But that's it. And that will take us to Aztec and unlock Egyptian as well. Um, you should have a decent amount of cheats at this point in time. Um, we'll look at Aztec in the next one. And then finish with Egyptian. And that is uh, the game wrapped up with Double O Agent.